on rocks. Pocket full of motherfucking blue. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video, and today I'm stoked, bro. I'm super excited. I got the Challenger white body here in front of me. I've been wanting this wrap for a long time, and it finally happened. It looks great. It looks fucking sick. Yeah. It actually came out better than I thought it was yeah, gonna come yeah. out. You know, we had the perfect car. We've been jamming to Young Dolph for, for a very long time. If you guys have been following us for a while, we've been even using the Young Dolph music on our videos. We finally got this done, and we got it done the right way. This guy is the original rap guy that did all Young Dolph's rap. Here it is. I hope you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what's up. After this, check it out because we're going to do ceramic coating. But check it out first before we go over to Tejera. Yeah, whoa, yeah. Hey, Charlie was popping. Whoa, yeah. Yo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey! Whip an excursion. Dope boy splurging. Yeah. Too much ice on it made her nervous. Damn. Flexing on purpose. Damn. Still smoking cushion, still drinking purple. Oh, uh. Whip a convertible. <laughs> the only thing that the streets respect is money and murder. Yeah. Shooters jumping out in traffic. Yeah. Fuck it, let that nigga have it. <laughs> Trapping in half fashion. Swear. She real pretty, but she nasty. Ooh. Then my trap bitch, but she classy. Uh. In the club smoking blunts back to back, but my diamonds just dancing. Hey. Pull up in a different form every day, bitch said you too fancy. I told her, no, you never seen shit like this, bitch, don't panic. If you ain't from the streets and never had shit, then you won't understand. Alright, everybody, so we're right here ahead of us. Hey, that fucking camel rap is pimping, dog. That was a good choice, you know. So, y'all let me know here, comment down below. Maybe we should rap something else. Look at this bug rap, bro. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this thing went to Atlanta and came back. It was actually in Atlanta for a whole week. It really was. It took off, what, Wednesday or Wednesday? Tuesday? And yeah. we just got back yeah, yesterday yeah. or today, yeah. actually. We were dropping it off right here at Head House. Usually does the maintenance on the dually. And of course, with the brand new wrap on the Challenger, we will have to get that ceramic coated. We're bringing it right here to the best. We're going to be talking to Head out right now, see what kind of ceramic coating we're going to need on the Camo Challenger. But my boy Head out here does a great job. He's done the 450, the Denali. He just detailed the giveaway 2020 that we got. He did the ceramic coating on the white body challenger when it was white. The Porsche, the gaps. Another one. Okay. What project do you have now? 454? 454. Oh, yeah. All from Davis? Yeah. Yeah, man. We're doing the paint correction and we're doing the ceramic. 454 original? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, real clean. Real nice 454 here. So, if y'all looking to get a ceramic coated the right way, y'all need to come over here with my boy Hera at A+. Plus. Come on, Wes. Oh, oh, my lord. Come on, Damn, dude. So, la pregunta aquí es: ¿se le puede echar ceramic coating arriba del, del brad? Yeah, de arriba del brad. Es perfect. lo mismo que una pintura. Sí, es un el coating nomás lo va a proteger que no se le pegue los guaros. Okay. Well, there it is. We're going to drop it off right here, my boy Hera. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the rap. I love it. I'm excited. And I don't really get excited about a lot of things, but this is something that I really wanted for a long time. And it finally happened. And like I said, we got it done by the right people. You know, this guy, Atlanta Custom Raps, they did the original raps on Young Dolph's vehicles. So it was only right for us to go all the way to Atlanta. Big shout out to Justin. Great guy. He took me for a spin on the McLaren. That thing is fast, man. That thing is wicked. Thanks again to It's Just a Six. Thanks to him, we, me and Justin linked up. He hit me up, actually. He wants to do crawfish. Never know. We might take that bitch over there to Atlanta. Get that whole rap. Right now, we also got the Holly truck. We're going to be taking it past Dina. We drove that truck on the highway for like 15, 20 miles on a three-speed 400. So I just want to make sure the train is good. I know it leaked a little bit of oil after we were done using it maybe from the star or whatever it's like transmission oil so we're gonna take it back to Pasadena make sure everything's good so whenever we go back to the track that bitch is ready to roll like we got everybody jamming to Dolph you know what I'm saying we got Dolph in the background too yeah my bitch she bad all my niggas rich there it is ceramic coating on the challenger can't wait to pimp that hole out we're gonna take that out to a club one it's a, it's a must, it's right? a must bro. It's a must. Well, I just wanted to know dog if y'all were you know down down you know what I'm saying what is Tiny doing here? I don't know, bro. Tiny doesn't show up to the shop, but he shows up to the speed shop. I think Tiny fell off. Yeah. In what way? He used to be more active, now he's just lazy. What's up? Tiny? He's not his turn? No. What do you mean? What do you mean? Bro, I was just, I was just saying to the people and everybody, you know, 
Tiny fell off, bro. He, Tiny's not the same guy that he used to be back in the day. Bro, how come you didn't tell me? I just hired that motherfucker no, as my son. No, no, bro, you're gonna. You're supposed to tell me, hey, bro, be careful. Like, yo, bro, be careful with my boy. Like, you will go bankrupt. I already got fucking deal with Roy, so. But he's not his type for real. Nah, you see him. Nah, he's in the restroom. He's in the restroom. He's probably taking his shit. On here? I know we're trying to lose a little bit of weight, right? Just a little bit. So yeah. we're trying to spin those. They're uh, kind of prototyping. Okay. The, they have it for the two wood drives, uh, which has been proven on Frank's and uh, the Hollies and all the other ones. Okay. So we're trying one out for the four wood drive. At this point, we're going to give away every secret. It's the same aluminum spindle like we've done on the other ones. We're trying to make it for the four by four. So there's a few things we got to modify here and there. So if we weren't YouTubers, none of y'all would know none of this stuff. But since we YouTubers and we just like to, you know, show out. Well, here it is. We already pretty much said all the, the combination, how to go fast on a four-wheel drive truck. Yeah. So this is another step that you can do. Now, you do have to have a lot of money. Uh, that you do. Yeah, you have to have a lot of money because everything's expensive it, it, on this. It's hard, bro, because everyone can, you know what I mean? Like, they can try. Hey, don't say my eye. I saw the video. <laughs> I saw the video. It's easy. It's easy. What part? Oh, the it's, it's hard. hard. It's hard. And I knew I said it too much because you said it and he said it at the same time. I'm like, I gotta stop saying it's hard. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. It's more to it than just the money or just the parts. Of course, of course. Give everybody the formula, but yeah. they still gotta know. You know, because every truck's different. This truck, we've progressed with different things and, and we do show a lot, but you are right. With this truck, I think we've proven to a lot of people what can be done, how fast we've been able to go with all the stock shit. For us, we don't know what the limit is. So no. we don't know how much more to push it. So we're pretty much going to try this if it works. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll help us out. You know, maybe we cut a better 60 or whatever. It's a little lighter, a couple pounds, maybe 20, 30 pounds less. We do want to lose a little bit more weight on this truck, but this truck is not cut up. I've seen a lot of comments about the truck. I keep trying to convince y'all to put a radiator in the back because we have the water pump, all the accessories, the power steering. And we had a radiator before. Yes, we just took it off to put the fuel cell, but yes. we were going to make it. It's yeah. still, I mean, the firewall yeah, yeah. frame is still Everything. complete. Still complete, the yeah. bed is still full yeah. all the way inside. I mean, we really could put the radiator in the bed, run the line to the water pump, and we could drive this thing anywhere. It's gonna be expensive though. Alcohol is expensive. Now, if you want to check it out, like, look, we yeah. still got all this. The factory fuse, still, box, all the everything's box. still kind of factory in the front. All the this goes to the back brake lights and everything back there. Let's the, go to the back and let's show y'all the so we you know it's not cut up. Tiny, what you doing here, bro? Get, get, get out of oh here. Oh my bro. god, I just finished putting some shit in here. <laughs> The whole bed is still here. I mean, we haven't gutted it out yet. Now imagine if we gut it, it's already fast. Wouldn't we spend more? Wouldn't we have to just pretty much start from scratch? There's a lot more. Yeah, we would be starting over. And I don't know, spinning is the right word. We do gotta get the ratios. And that's kind of what we're trying to do, lose some weight. I don't want to give away all the ratios. We give a formula, but people don't know the ratios. The front to back ratio is a big part of it. It's how much nose weight, how much you know tire weight's on the back. We will have to keep that into effect if we lose more weight. But basically anything we lose here, we have to lose it in the front. Or anything we lose in the front, we gotta lose it in the back to kind of has to be evened out. Now, so y'all yes. check it out. We don't have leaf springs, we do have a ladder bar set up. We got some badass sharks, of course, badass we're in nine inch housing or whatever. I mean, we do have a bunch of bars. You actually added more weight, I think, with the rope cage. Yes, because we didn't save no weight. You will you take the leaf springs off, but that's not really a lot of weight. You know, even the, the stock frame where it goes. Yeah, the hanger. The, yeah, the hanger and stuff. You can still put everything on if we wanted to. This is where I told you if we wanted to make this like a street truck, we could put it back to a street truck and we didn't cut anything up. Yeah. The frame hasn't even been notched or yeah. we did put fiberglass bumpers and tailgates, but at the end of the day, bro, like that's we not. ended up putting more bars, so it kind of like compensates. Of course, they didn't even got no tailgate or no bumpers oh, in the back. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, when you're fast, they're gonna just make the excuses. No matter what, they're just gonna say it. If we were slow, then nobody would say nothing. No, yeah. Yeah, and nobody would care. Nobody would care. Well, since we're not slow. Anyways, we are getting ready this weekend. We're going out of town. We're not telling you guys just quite yet where we're going. But we are going out of town. We're doing some racing on this one and crack it. Crack it's over there sitting pretty. I think it's time for a paint on crack it. Comment down below, let me know if we should paint it or leave it like that. A lot of people like it like that, bro. But if we're gonna paint, I'm gonna paint it white. So I got the Holly truck. Oh, yeah. We drove that truck for like 20 miles. I thought you said 10, bro. No, now that I'm thinking about it, it was 20. <laughs> now it was 20 in total. It was like 10, 15, one way, and then we came back and then went through some roads. So we drove that thing for 20 miles. I know the three speed 400. I don't know if they're street friendly. It's the converter. The converter on that one's both together, circle D, okay. but in the middle, I forget the, the word in the middle, but it's billet frag or okay. some shit in the inside. You about throwing the oil it did spill the oil out so we want to check that okay we're gonna leave it here just get it ready just in case we go to the track make sure it's good you know i don't want to i'm trying to go fast too and that one i'm ready i'm ready to go fast and that one too faster just leave it the way it is bro it's good now frank don't walk fast. for what's coming for him he needs to go faster bro nah <laughs> we don't go fast and brownie bro we're trying to go we're trying to go fast fast Oh, we added some coils too, right? Yes, the coils are over here. Okay, these are the whole... Yeah. 
we're about like 20, I think like 28, 29 pounds. It's kind of peaking. We try to go more boost. We're blowing the spark out. This think, gives it more power. I think it's like 10 times more joules. The electricity is measured in joules. This is 10 times more than a stock coil. This one here, so you got to run power and ground straight to the battery. And then you got to ground to the head apart from the harness. So gotcha. it's, it's quite a bit more. Uh, we got to make new wires for it and everything because it's just the way the plugs are made up. Okay. But uh, we are going to be also adding this to throw more boost. That's kind of what we haven't been able to turn the boost up yet on this one because we are blowing the spark out. So between that losing a little bit of weight and the Holly coils, you know, we're going to try to push. Hopefully this weekend, try to push maybe pounds of boost. I think we'll we can get the number that we want. Yeah. We ran up 830 on this truck in a quarter mile. Yeah. That was back then with the first motor that we had. Now we got a stronger motor, solid roller for you guys that know. And we already beat that time. Quite by quite a bit okay. so from 8 30 we're going fast yeah we, we've already picked up we've definitely picked up enough we picked up quite a bit in the A's, yeah. and we just want more we're just getting a little greedy yeah, yeah, yeah. no that's no, cool it's cool so we've been faster on this one and we've been faster on this one we don't want to say the numbers so we're just going to keep it yeah, secret we might, we might get a couple grudge races with some cars yes 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 so we're gonna and tiny doesn't even know either because this guy leaks everything <laughs> he's a header leak bro this guy's been on camera giving us out bro how when we went to fucking colorado we fucking hit some beer and they caught us with the beer and he told the cop i told him not to do that i told him not to do that you know what I, mean? I told him not to do it you know what i'm saying but i didn't tell the cop i didn't tell the cop it was there hey so tiny's the guy bro when yeah. they go into interrogation he got the kfc <laughs> with the hawaiian <laughs> You know, Chuck like Chuck Chuck everything, everything. Oh, that's tiny. Damn. Everybody, going <laughs> Everybody going down. So if we disappear one day, <laughs> this guy, no, bro. So we'll see. Hopefully this weekend, try to get crazy. Hey, I'm hoping the track's supposed to be a little better up there. I think at night the weather's supposed to be a little different. Oh, it's some, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. No, it takes a lot. They have like 16 quarts in them. Oh, shit. Okay. They have a lot. When you spill it, it, don't, I mean, it, it looks like a lot, but it's not really a lot. She did good. She did good. It drove 20 miles. 20 miles? Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, it, it did 20 miles driving on the highway. I mean, it did pretty good. I mean, we lost the race, but from a road we've never rode before, they did too bad. We did a 70 versus the all wheel drive uh, Civic, and we still spun. So, I mean, it was a. Uh, Lou Lou situation there, you know what I'm saying? But we, it was we just had, too hot. We had fun. Oh, it's still red, hell no. It's still good. I'm impressed. Street truck, bro. Check the engine oil, make sure everything's good. Oh, it's already at 20 pounds. Pour it down. He don't let me turn down nothing. Oh, whatever, man. It's good, it's good, we'll leave it. Still looks brand new. They don't even milk it yet or nothing. Right, You're not taking this one, right, this weekend? Nah. So we're right here leaving Pasadena. You know what, Tanner? Your truck doesn't stink bro, today like it food. Smells, bro. But it smells like you've been putting a lot of fucking spray in this bitch, bro. Hey, look. What does it smell like? I don't know if, like, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's these these little. These actually help a lot. Huele como cuando vas a la taquería y te metes al baño. Que huele chingos a pinol y a suavitel y todo el show. As long as it doesn't stink. Yeah, I don't stink like That's fucking cafeteria. This, this shit <laughs> fucking this stinks like death in here. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Work trip, bro. I've been yeah. sitting in here for 12 hours. Damn, poor seat. Anyways, we're going back to the shop. Where's Perrillo, bro? You want to call Perrillo, bro, to Sebastian? Yeah, He'll probably him. answer him out of everybody. Yeah. Call Alex. He'll answer me, but I have, I, he usually calls me. Yo. Please leave your message. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Rejected, bro. Bro, I'm busy, bro. I ain't got time for your ass, Tiny left his burger out here. What are you doing, though? Playing Legos, living off a click. My click on flip without the Lego. Five shots, five shots. Motor, 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 mot